Guys, today's video is sponsored by Surfshark! Yeah! <laughs> Tell them why, Alex. Well, Disney Plus is available online, but it's not available everywhere, and you need a VPN to get around that geo-blocking. And even if you already have Disney Plus, some of the movies that they offer may not be available in your region. And the same as happens with Netflix and with Hulu and a bunch of other ones, and it's unacceptable. And not only do you get a great deal, you also get to share this with your family or your friends on unlimited devices. And little Joe, and you can take advantage of this with our <laughs> discount of 83% off a two-year plan, and you get three free extra months when you go to surfshark.deals backslash angry joe show. If it's good enough for little Joe, it's good enough for you. Plus you get a ton of extra features. In addition to that geo blocking and the VPN stuff, you also get clean web which protects you from over a million malicious One websites, million. guys. Yeah, this is the VPN service you need to get. Use our discount code below and you know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check it out. Welcome back to part two. We separated the two videos just because we want to go in depth in each episode of Star Wars Visions. I want to thank our sponsors, Surfshark, <laughs> for uh, partnering up with us here at the Angry Joe Show, uh, allowing nobody to tell you what you can and can't watch. Get rid of that geo blocking crap with Surfshark and protect your privacy. You can watch it anywhere on any device. That's right. <laughs> So uh, we're jumping right in. Um, so the overall, uh, I'll give you the overall up front, and then we'll go into each individual episode is I think how we should do these uh, with a little spoilers thingamajiggy in between. Um, yeah! <laughs> Ended strong, okay? I was wondering, um, you know, I'm like, man, these were some fucking fantastic episodes. Uh, and then... Are these last ones going to be able to live up to the series and ultimately, uh, you know, put a bow on it? And I think, yes, very much so. Um, we've got uh, 2B1 uh, or TOB1 for episode uh, six. And uh, this is like a Mega Man looking one. It's happy. It's bubbly. Uh, we got the Elder. Love this animation style. It's kind of the current anime. We get a lot of current animes in this one. The Elder, Lop and Ocho is kind of a current uh, what animes look like these days. And then we get a unique looking one with Aka Kiri. Um, kind of reminds me of, you know, the... The jelly animations, you know how they kind of do some accentuating and some wackiness with the, too fun on that one. the creative the one. On that one. Yeah, well, I was. I, I thought it was interesting. And that's why I think that, that this is such a great exercise for Disney to do. And I want to see more of it. So uh, I'm, uh, let's, uh, gosh darn it, because I wanted to give the final verdict up front. But it just feels wrong to do. Um, you do whatever you want to do. I'll do whatever I want to do. I'm going to do it then up front. <laughs> I'm going to do, and, and you guys let us know. Uh, you know, you want us to do the final verdicts for these kinds of things at the very end after we talk about each individual episode or up front and leave that kind of stuff to spoilers. So let me just um, say uh, fantastic. I want Disney to do a season two, most definitely. <laughs> um, this is what I like to see. Everything that I said in the first video continued into this video. This is high quality animation, high quality voice acting, and ex expansions to the Star Wars lore. You know, I looked it up. It's not necessarily canon. They're not really given, you know, a firm um, answer on that, but they have said, which is pretty much the opposite, where it's like, you do not have to adhere to the canon. We wanted to give creative of license to each one of these studios and directors and writers and that was fucking awesome honestly the only bad thing about the series to me is that these are too fucking short and i want to see more a lot of these can make their own fucking movies and create their own merchandise and people can become uh huge fans of each individual thing here and maybe that will uh eventually happen um so uh, other than the length the only thing i'm, I'm a little sad to see is no Star Wars, like, X-Wing. You know what I mean? Like, that animation that I was talking about a long time ago from an individual that I think inspired a lot of these, that, mm -hmm. that anime 
rogue squadron kind of thing. Dude wasn't a part of it, and I, I, it would have been got awesome. It once. Right. So maybe <laughs> we'll see that in season two. Give that guy some credit and talk to him. He's a uh, Mickey Mouse Joe, man. You can't do that. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see. Well, no, they got to hire some of these talents. Um, and I would love to see uh, more sort of fleet battles, right, in addition to, because what this one, Star Wars Visions, a lot about the Jedi and the Sith, focusing on that. Maybe in the future they'll do, uh, you know, sort of fleet battles and then the underground and that kind of stuff. So uh, let's go to final verdicts for season uh, one of Star Wars Visions. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed um, most of them. There was a couple mm -hmm. that, that definitely fell short. And, I, you know, with as high quality as some of the other ones were, it's, I felt like I was robbed. It's like, come on, you should have given me, you know, give this to someone else. Uh, for the most part, I liked all the animation styles. There was a couple that I felt didn't quite fit. And the ones that I didn't think I was going to like just based on the trailers, you know, kind of okay. won me over a little bit with some of the storytelling. Uh, this is super solid. It's something I want to see a ton more of. Uh, but because there was at least two that really didn't resonate with me, I'm going to go with a strong 8 out of 10. I think this is really good stuff that people should be watching. Uh, the, for me, it's going to be a 9. It's a must-watch besides the one I hated, the Tatooine uh, Rhapsody. Rhapsody one. That's the only <laughs> one I didn't like. But this is a must-watch. I really like uh, the creativity they do with all the animations and all the music. It's a worth a watch. Oh, yeah, definitely. I am going to go with a 10 out of 10, a legendary rating, something that I will compare future Disney experiments to. This is what Disney should be doing. Uh, I like the fact that they're stretching their creative muscles. They're uh, relaxing sort of the restrictions on some of the licenses and putting it into other people's hands because that's kind of what fucked up the... Um, Conclusion to the Skywalker trilogy, Disney not having a plan, Disney exerting way too much, uh, you know, control <sighs> over it and fucking everything up. And so when you put the license into other competent people's hands, you have a winner. And I think any one of these, yes, including the one that Joe hates, could spawn <laughs> a successful anime no. series. You guys are wrong. I know they could spawn. Anyways, uh, so... I'm going to go with a 10 out of 10 overall. You know, we don't really do, we don't average our ratings over the episodes. We just kind of go with a feeling. I'm, I, I think it's an, I can understand a nine and I'm giving it that extra point because this is the first time, you know, that Disney is kind of doing something like this and I've wanted to see this forever. So you get a little bonus point for that. All right. So, uh, go watch Star Wars Visions. Jones. It's worth it. Disney Plus at this point has enough on there that it's worth it. Grab your subscription and, and uh, check it out and tell us what uh, you think, which is your favorite episode and which is your most hated episode. Is it, <laughs> is it the Rhapsody one or is it a different one? All right. But if you want to stick around and hear us uh, talk about the last uh, few episodes, uh, then stick around for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Welcome to the spoiler section. I know that our first part video, we didn't do that break, but, uh, you know, we're still trying to figure out some of the formats for these streaming reviews. Yeah, because it's, uh, it's own little thing, so mm -hmm. it's kind of hard. <laughs> so, uh, episode, uh, let's go. Um, T-O-B-Y. T-O-B-Y. Go ahead, Joe. You want to talk about it? Uh, this one I really enjoyed. I mm -hmm. like the animation, and uh, this is what I was expecting with this with the... Tatooine. It's like, mm -hmm. it's kind of cute or whatever. Yeah. It, it yeah. has like a little story behind mm -hmm. it. So there's an older mm -hmm. guy with a robot. He's very, um, they, very curious, and he just dreams of being a Jedi. Right. He's like, hey, you need to stay away from the basement. Might be a lot of Mega Man for some yeah, reason. Yeah, that's who the animation. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, he's like, well, if you need, a, if you want to be a Jedi, you need to go find a Kyber crystal. Mm -hmm. So he's searching throughout the whole planet, yeah. and with his little buddy. And he's like, you know what? He tells me not to go in the basement. Right. I think it's the basement. It's the only place I haven't looked. <laughs> and he looks in the basement and he finds a, uh, what was it? A ship. 
What yeah. kind of ship was it? I don't know. Oh no, it is. Well, you know, it's uh, clearly you know this professor has had a previous life and he's hiding some stuff. Mm-hmm. So he turns that on and that sends out a beacon and the Sith finds it and he finds out that his master is a Jedi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this professor has no arms and he uses a lot of robots to help him do. His primary objective on this planet seemed to be terraforming, just like I said, like Joe mm-hmm. said, happily, happy, bubbly, uh, fun. Yeah. The robot mm-hmm. wants to be a Jedi. This one actually has a you know a complete story. Mm-hmm. I could see the, this story kind of better than the Rhapsody one. Where yes, it's like, it's like it, that's it's what a, I was expecting. It's an arc, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, did you guys notice this at some point when he goes in the basement? He goes, "I got a bad feeling about this." And that is that line is in almost yes. all of them. That started to yeah. annoy me because we're watching these one right after the other. I don't know if that was a note that Disney said, all right, look, get, just do one thing for us, okay? Can we get, like, one funny line in, in all of them? They're not, I don't think they're actually in all of them, but uh, it just kind of get bit. annoying yeah. a little bit. Um, but anyways, so like you said, he goes in the basement, uh, Star Destroyer with a Sith aboard picks up the signal, and um, essentially... Uh, the professor realizes what he's done, sort of hides him, tells his little robot protector to protect him, and we don't see what happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, later on, you know, you get uh, the destruction and the grave. He sees a grave. Who built a grave? Did the Sith have such... That's what I was thinking. I was like, did the Sith... Did the Sith have like... so much respect after killing him? No. Maybe the little robots, because there are tons of little robots, you know, around. So the all of them robots. are dead. But they were all destroyed. No, 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 no. They weren't all destroyed by then, because the little robots help him in the Sith fight, and the grave became... No, well, he's, he he's dead. Them. They are yeah. all dead, except he, for the one that was protecting him. He ended up fixing them. And he fixed... He, he had one one that was left, and then he fixes oh, all of the shit. rest of them. Uh, that's right. Mm-hmm. So, well, maybe there was ones hiding that we didn't see, or it's the okay. Sith well, himself. For, well, just pass over. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, he realizes that, you know, he's gone forever, and then he sort Sort of uh, rallies to fulfill the professor's dream on terraforming the uh, world, mm-hmm. and really good music here. Mm-hmm. I like that little, what do you call it, montage with the music as he's trying to figure out how to terraform. And then, um, but then you know he figures everything's out. He's got his father or, or the professor's lightsaber. It's a little too happy because it's like motherfucker just died. <laughs> you got like your father and... killed because you were, uh, you know, you misbehave and you don't right. follow directions. But he's got his lightsaber. Right. So then the Sith show up. They have a badass fight. I liked it. Uh, and then sort of Toby, he calls him now Toby, uh, gets knighted via. Um, sort of the astral plane when he's you know, kind of communes with uh, the professor. And the little robot dude uses some pretty good moves, and he's got no training. So I assumed that they were programmed in, into him by his, you know, Jedi uh, We saw a montage master. maybe even back then, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, and, uh, and then the really cool thing, very anime-like, very Japanese, that he combines with his little helper robot. I like that, Voltron yeah. style <laughs> to uh, get even more glowing bits and cool badass armor and does a final slash and, and final slash and kills uh, the Sith and but he's a robot too, right? I don't know. He looked like a yeah, robot. Ro- mm, well, he might have been uh, just a weird looking helmet. So really like this one. What would you all give this? Uh, this one was a self-contained story. I liked the animation and it was like nice and cute. Mm. What I wanted. No, I'd probably give this a nine. Okay. I liked it. Wow, you really like this yeah. one. I didn't. It's fun. I didn't like yeah, anything about okay. this one. Oh uh, shit! <laughs> no, not not like, the animation style. It's not fine. The... I'm like I don't I'm not getting taking away any sure. points for the animation style. It's just you know, it's a little shit kid gets his father <laughs> killed, and he's not a Jedi, and he's a robot, and he he beats a Sith Lord in one day with no training. And he's and training. I told you, Alex, he programmed he, he, in he's all training. the people. Well, he, he's he didn't because he specifically told them that that he he told them about being a Jedi in one day. He'd know nothing about training, and it was so locked in. It, no, program. no, it wasn't any of that other shit. <laughs> yes, so I I don't know. It's fine. It just didn't resonate with me at all. Okay. So I just it, this is. Probably the second worst of the episodes. Okay. Um, what would you give me? Probably a five. Whew. All right. I would give it an eight. An eight out of ten. I enjoyed this one very much. I'm just happy, and I like uh, the bubbliness and that kind of kid kid feel to it. Uh, you know, I like inspiring. that Gundam feel at the end. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, Moving on to episode seven, The Elder. Love this animation style. This is the current anime look, and it's like... Yes, more of these. Let's do a whole Star Wars series in this kind of look. Um, This is basically a Padawan and his master kind of um, traveling intergalactically, sent something, stops the ship, and at this point they they monologue. The Sith have been destroyed for hundreds of years. 
um, or give some exposition rather, and uh, well, they just get a bad feeling and they go to uh, this planet. And uh, with this, these people with their own customs, he's like, maybe you, you should wait here. I'll go talk with the people. And little kids are doing, you know, like peeking in on him, like, what's going on? He connects with the little kids doing some cute little little things. They go back and forth. Um, and it's, you know, nice character development, good stuff. And the townspeople tell him, look, somebody showed up, old person, just went into the mountains, and this guy creeps us out. I don't know what's going on here. So... Stupidly, these guys decide to split up, which is not good, and probably not what the Jedi's are taught when they're, uh, you know, investigating. But I guess they were had their guards down or There's whatever. No Sith for a hundred years. What are they right. worried about? So young one goes. Uh, young one suggests that he'll go up to the mountains, and I'm like, yep. <laughs> and the Is old one will stay back near the ship, and just. Wait, wait for the guy to return. Now, the thing is, they should have checked out that ship first. Because as soon as the older guy, the master, sees the ship, it's black and red. Yes. And you know what's coming. And it's like, oh, shit. And even he realizes, wait a minute. This design I've seen in some old holocrons that this is a Sith. So you need to be careful. Maybe come back. Uh, the boy realizes that there's an animal with his throat slashed. And, and so he turns around to come back. And boom. That's when he runs into this tiny little old man. Fucking love Those it. are the most dangerous ones. Yeah, I love those in animes where there's yeah. like a fucking old dude, but he's like the best, and he like fucking whips ass, and this is that. Uh, Reminds me of Kung Fu Hustle. The frog you, dude? I'll fight you. Oh. No, he's too big. You, you. <laughs> you. He's like, oh, and then no. this dude comes out and he's like, oh, uh, you. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, so um, the, this old dude, Sith, has cool ass blades, and he's got the Sith eyes. I just love him, and he attacks the boy. Very, very bored with the boy because he can't really fight so, back. Yeah. Just defending him, he's like, "You're delaying the inevitable." And uh, c- continue, one of you guys. I don't want to take. He, it all he beats his ass. I mean, he he. It looks like he kills the Padawan. I thought he did. Yeah, he did a like, slash, he, and you think the body would move, right? Yeah, you expected that. He just kind of doubles over. And then the the you know the Padawan's master goes up, and then they have their their epic duel, and it was really it was epic. It was really cool. And they mm-hmm. they start talking about you know I wish I you know was able to fight you in my prime. This guy's clearly very very old, and Father even time he, catches up. <laughs> yeah, and then so the, ultimately the good guy wins, uh, and then they have a really interesting talk at the end that was like I really enjoyed them talking about how. The power levels of these things. It's just like, look, if if I had met this guy at his prime, I'm, I'd have been. I probably lose, and like my power is actually waning. Yours is rising. So they start talking about how how you know time ravages all, and it was in cool. fact, the master was not able to best uh, the the old man. He needed a little bit of help from the boy. Maybe, well, the boy helps him anyway uh, from his down position. Kind of uh, strikes one of his sabers, uh, and. Uh, and then the old man decide, you know, as he's dying, uh, decides to blow up his own ship. So you know, this is never explained while it's he was there, <laughs> uh, why he blows up his own ship, and then he kind of turns to ash. My assumption, and this is fun, this is the speculative part, is that you know he was looking for Sith technology, a de aging technology, whatever, to extend his life. And there were a bunch of Sith artifacts in his ship, and he doesn't want the Jedi to get them. Maybe he heard in the mountains there's clones of uh, the Emperor, and he wanted to clone himself. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the dark, the cloning <laughs> the dark to magic, joke, gotcha. and cloning. Uh, but this, you know, okay. this one kind of cut a little, a little short, and I kind of wanted yeah. to know more just because he was it's such an intriguing. interesting character, mm-hmm. and it just kind of ends, and you're like. Fuck. And, you know, the master's looking in, into the distance, and we've got this Padawan who should be fucking dead. I don't yes. know why. So that's that one little writing contrivance there. He should be fucking dead. Uh, but he's not. And then maybe, I don't know, they're setting up this is a continuation, or it's just like, look, this is open-ended. So what did y'all think of this one? For me, this was going to be another nine. I like uh, the story behind this one and the intrigue. And the little old man fucking kicked ass. Oh, yeah. uh, the little nitpicks for me was uh, the Padawan. He's fucking annoying. <laughs> like, during the ship, he's like, and then we bust out the sight la- uh, lightsabers, and then we fight, and then we fight. It's like, no, you don't need to fight. It's like, I'm going to go over there and go fight. I was like, you, should, right. you should die. Mm-hmm. You should just die. You should have died. You should have. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, just, he was just annoying, but that was my only nitpick. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm going to give this one a 10. I really, really like this one. Um, I like the animation style. I like the story. I like not knowing. I think these little self-contained things are great. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'm, I'm willing to, like, hand wave. You know, they, they, they specifically, they threw away a line in there that there's, like, look, there hasn't been Sith in hundreds of years. There's no one out anywhere near close on the level of Jedi. There's probably, like, random mercenaries. And that's why the kid is probably so anxious, because there are no big baddies. There are no huge battles or wars or any of those other things. So he's probably bored, so... I'm willing to forgive those things, but... Nice, 10 and 10. Yeah. I'm going to go with a 9, mainly because, you know, I, I think we all love this one, as mm -hmm. much, but I kind of wanted to know a little bit more, and it's like, that boy should be dead. Uh, so, The Elder, fantastic. Moving on to Episode 8, Lop and o Oko, or Ocho, um, and this one was about a planet uh, under Imperial occupation called Tau, a very Japanese architecture, kind of reminded me of... Um, that like the Wolf Brigade, I forget what uh, what series that was. Just real, you know, industrial, but they couldn't take advantage of the resources in some way. They needed the Imperials to help them get reach the next level. So they agreed to the occupation, uh, but they r soon realized that uh, it's not what it's cracked up to be, and they're abusing the people. So we start with an Imperial slave laborer. She's like this little animal creature, like a little fox bunny thing. Bunny. And uh, again, a traditional anime style, liked it. Um, but she is running, and she runs into a young girl and uh, her father. And he's wearing something very regal. It looks like he's in charge of maybe a clan or a family. And that young, the little girl just embraces her, and she's like, we're going to be a family now. It's like, okay. Okay, we're rushing to be a, just a complete family. We're just going to do it, right? Um, maybe because this is only 20 minutes long and they've got to keep it going. Uh, but cut to seven years later, she's using the bunny lady is using the scouter. Yeah. Lop is her name, using a scouter. And, you know, she, the empire has attacked. There's been some sort of explosion. And she sees her sister arguing with her father. And there's people on either side. The sister supports the empire just stupid and it can't and she says that the planet they cannot provide for the people they support them they provide for the people and they cannot advance without the empire which is bullshit but okay fine i mean it'll take longer for you to advance the father's trying to say no like they're, they're taking away all of our stuff and they're assholes and let's uh, let's fight them um so there's a disagreement and she basically you know um, fucks off and uh they're driving in a in a little hovering car and they're blockaded by this imperial officer with green ears and corn rolls. And, you know, he's got that that smile, that NMA smirk. villain smile, the <laughs> smirk. Um, and he's basically, you know, lets the Lop know that her sister's already betrayed the family. Uh, she's actually been working with the Empire already kind of unofficially to figure out where these attacks are coming from. And, you know, Lop feels betrayed. And, again, her sister is just ridiculously evil yeah, it was a little cartoonishly too over the top. evil she like she bite, like, yeah. yeah go ahead she go bites ahead. her finger <laughs> and then puts it on as makeup and she <laughs> has it forever right. i was like hey, wait that's not the way it works but uh, okay sure that's not they're all. aliens she, you don't know she maybe cuts they're her blood hair. tattoos <laughs> she cuts her hair as a symbolic way of fuck this family or fuck this i'm going to join the empire yeah uh, so the uh, the sister uh, uh, goes with the empire and lop runs away um and it turns out when she runs back to her father that the Jedi long ago came to the planet. There was one Jedi in particular, made it his home and maybe died there. But he passed on his lightsaber and some of his teachings to the people of this planet. Um, I'm not sure if that breaks a Jedi code of any kind, but whatever. Again, they don't have to stick with canon. And tradi uh, tradition has handed down this, this sword, this weapon. It's a lightsaber from uh, f head of household to head of household in this particular family. And, um, you know, so he gives her the lightsaber and says, I'm sorry if I might have treated you harshly. Like, you know, you are a part of this family, even though you're not blood. And my own daughter has, you know, left us. And, you know, sometimes I would favor her over you. So I'm, I apologize because you have a good heart and you're a good person. And so, yeah, and it just, again, <laughs> she goes to the, uh, he's like, I'll, I'll be back. I love you very much. And you know what he's going to do. He's going to go and try to attack the Empire single-handedly. I guess he does have like two or three guys to, to go with him. But I don't know what his plan was. It was basically to... To talk it out. To talk it out, <laughs> right? With weapons. Yes. With weapons. That's and plan B, Alex. <laughs> yeah, so they're kicking ass. Uh, but you notice that one of the people that uh, he's fighting in particular uh, is his daughter. 
Um, and with the makeup. With the makeup <laughs> and uh, these rods that are connected together with some um, electricity, red electricity. And he's got kind of a vibro blade. And God, this sister character is such a massive fucking bitch. Like, they, they go a little too far on it because she ends up destroying the little cute little robot helper that's been helped with the family like, forever. But look at the picture. Yeah. Just little hologram. Nope. She, I picture. guess she gets a little jealous because, you know, when she goes to attack her father, uh, Lop defends the father with a green saber. And it's like a green katana saber. And she's like, how, how did you have this? This is, you know, this is the family. You're not a part of the family. Even though she was the one that's like, you're the family now. It's like, oh, my God. This is ma massive 360 here. But good fight. Mm -hmm. Great animation. Interesting to watch. Loved it. And, um, yeah, I just felt the conflict felt a little too forced. They end up, uh, Lop ends up slashing her with an X. She falls off the station, but it turns out the um, uh, Empire saved her, and she's, like, all heroically standing on an I thought they were going to do a hyper jump while she's on top again. <laughs> she's on, oh, which is totally right doable now. if you could ref reference back the twins and Ryan Johnson. She could have done that if she wanted. Hold on! Totally works. <laughs> You just so, turn the ship around and just turn the 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 you just go real fast and look incinerate everything. Alex, what did you think of this? One? Uh, I think this is the the biggest example of why that these short stories don't always work. Some yeah. people the, their storytelling ambition was so fucking much bigger than the twenty minute allotment they were given. I love the art style. There are so many giant. It looks like hand drawn. Like there's a market. There's all sorts of cool cityscapes, and I like the animation style. But oh my god, this is so bad rushed shitty writing where the this needed to be an hour and a half long for me to buy any of these characters and and if it was in its current structure it would have totally it would have been, been great but they, immediately they have to go not only am i evil but i'm fucking evil immediately and then it, it just it didn't work very well i still kind of like it i like it better than some of the other ones that, that i was a little bit down on but um yeah it's, it gets, this one's getting like a five Damn. Okay. Five. Um, Joe, I'm gonna go with the seven on this one. Uh, I didn't really feel like it was. It was really forced. She was over the top mm -hmm. and like evil. Like one scene, she's driving. She's like, "Yeah, I love my father." The next scene, she's trying to kill her father. Mm -hmm. Like, um, that yeah. doesn't really feel yeah. like it's deserved or anything. Yeah. Like, show me a couple seconds of her doing some betrayal, maybe. Yeah. But yeah. Twenty minutes. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's 20 minutes, but you can show me like a couple seconds yeah. or something, but yeah, it's just a little too over the top and forced drama. If there was a puppy, she would have kicked it. That's, okay, how, see, that's how evil like it would have been. <laughs> that and She's like, oh, I hate dogs now. It's like, what? Well, yeah, I liked everything else, though. Seven. Seven. Um, yeah, uh, I'm going to go with an eight, I, I think, just because that's, that's like the only thing that I don't like about it, and I'm going to dock two points for it, because mm -hmm. I think it had the potential to have a 10 out of 10. I liked it that much. Uh, the music, the the style, the you know animation, the the story, the tradition, and all that good stuff. But I will agree that she's a cartoon villain there. So eight out of ten on that one. Uh, final episode. Let can we end strong here? Episode nine, Akakiri. Um, it starts with a fight immediately, and we've got a very unique um, uh, animation style. Kind of reminds me of. Yeah, we no, got the horses not, back, not, right? Not necessarily Princess Monoke or, or Studio Ghibli, but, you know, there is a princess involved. But just, you know, kind of uh, stylistic, and I, I liked it. Um, there's a female Sith, apparently, that has hidden in a royal court. And a Jedi has returned to this planet to help uh, a, a, for a princess that he formerly was friends with to take care of it. And... Uh, I did notice a lot of evil females in, in this uh, this uh, series, which I like. It's a different angle uh, from, like, the same old bad guys we've seen and stuff. It's good to mix it up and get some female Sith. I mean, we've seen Ventress, and we've seen Captain Phasma, but... They waste Captain Phasma. Phasma. Wasted Phasma. Yeah. Waster. So I like, I like that they're getting creative with uh, some of the different Sith. Super old guy. We've seen that in The Emperor, but this one was... Uh, Probably even older <laughs> than, than the Emperor. This guy was old. Yeah. Um, okay, so the princess is now in exile, and he fights these little creatures. They're uh, the amalgamation of kind of like the Tusken Raiders and, and sloths or something. <laughs> Just their own little uh, dangerous creatures. And um, they, they figure – this one – I will mention this. I had a little bit of headache while watching this one. 
uh, because their tribal music is super primal, super old school, and it was loud as fuck. And it was overpowering. The drums. The, yeah, those <laughs> drums were overpowering the action. and the Covering the, the up audio. dialogue. And it was covering up dialogue, especially when he's in the final battle. It really drove me crazy and gave me a little bit of a headache. Um, but anyway, they get two guides because they're going to go back to the city and, and try to be as safe as possible. And these two guys, they're funny guys. You know, the, the characters that you see in some, uh, you know, old school Japanese films where they're just like jokers and they're singing to keep a wave of spirits. Like, Shut the fuck up. Like, we need to be quiet as we go through here. And they're just not a care in the world. Um, they realize they have to use a difficult path in the mountains and, you know, mystical stuff. But they're like, no, we're not going there. How about $500? Okay, let's go. <laughs> um, but one of the guys gets lost. And, the, and, you know, the Jedi eventually finds him and brings him. Yeah, to his friend was a dick, though. He's yeah. like, no, it's destiny. Yeah. He's lost yeah. forever. Exactly. The Jedi's like, I'll go get him. Yeah. <laughs> If he comes back, not I would a good be friend. like, your friend said it's destiny. You, That's not a good friend. I came back They're exactly you. the same person, though. They both <laughs> Joe, understood. Don't, don't even lie. You would do that to me and Alex. No, you. I in would a heartbeat. not. Okay. I would you, not. You know, if, if we were stuck in a haunted house, the first thing you would do would be run the when fuck When we away. were playing Outriders, when you were making popcorn, Joe, as soon as you knew that there was a spider That's boss, you were different. like, peace out. And That's I looked, and your game. butt was running in the <laughs> no, opposite you, direction. You I would tell you guys, hey, man, don't go over there. Don't go over there. I warned you. Got no choice. You took the money, anyways, and then you uh, bailed. <laughs> he finds a dude. They reunite. He he pays them, and uh, they do one more little deed for him. They help attack the palace or distract, distract. the palace mm -hmm. with uh, some some burning bales, and uh, that allows the princess, the exiled princess, and the Jedi to get into the palace. Now, um, when they get to the battle, another thing I, I didn't like this. I don't know if you guys noticed. Maybe it was just our copy of it because Disney. These screeners are much lower quality than the kind of... I don't know if it's an issue on our end or if the screeners are just lower quality, but there was kind of a lot of dropped frames during the action. You notice the, the lightsabers would kind of skip and drop frames. I think it was a stylistic choice. Um, didn't like it as much as all the fluid action that mm -hmm. we've been seeing, seeing previously. And again, during this final climactic battle, the music was too loud and overpowering where it would go over dialogue. Um, but eventually... Uh, there's an, a subplot of Destiny, and this particular Jedi is so fucking sick and tired of hearing from Destiny about from the Sith, from the Jedi. He just hates it, and he has this reoccurring dream of this person that he kills with a mask on over and over, and uh, it ends up when he attacks this, this Sith, uh, and it's a female, and she's buff Was as hell. Was it the sister? That's the, the king's, king's sister. King's sister. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. She's buff as hell, and she's evil, and she's like, you know, he... She Come has a bunch of people attack yeah. him, and he ends up slashing somebody that's got a different body type, and it turns out to be uh, the princess. She kind of tricked him, and he kind of goes crazy a little bit because, you know, it's destiny, and they, he, his master once said, if you go over there, you're going to be tempted by the dark side. It's not going to work out for you. He said, no, I, I got to help anyway. So destiny was true. In the Star Wars universe, destiny going to fuck you over. She dies, however... Uh, the Sith, uh, you know, lady says, you know, I can help you and uh, I, we can bring her back from the dead just like uh, the Emperor. There are, uh, you know, things that the Jedi do not know about. And um, so he actually, but we actually see the resurrection here. You know, unlike, you know, Anakin who never really got, to, you know, what he wanted. This guy gets what he wants and she helps him resurrect the princess. And she's like, what have you done? You know, and he's like, well, she's my master now. I got to go. <laughs> I'd been like, fuck that. Yeah. And then attack the fucking well, whatever. But OK, so now he's her apprentice. She's like, come with me, my apprentice. So anyway, Sith manipulates him to joining her. as uh, She says, let us rule the galaxy and bring peace to this planet. And he joins her. And then they kind of move yeah, she's off. She's badass as fuck. She kicked his ass. She knows how to. I, I look. It got like minus ten points for force healing, because fuck that stupid shit. <laughs> oh um, shit, he's doing for. That's right. The, they they did take from the Ryan Johnson. So, side. but like I was on board up until that point. Like it was great. Yeah, and everything so, after that was pretty good too. Yeah. Maybe she wasn't dead, and yeah. she didn't necessarily bring her back from the dead because that would mean she's more powerful than the Emperor. But maybe she was just 
like near death Hurt. and did the force healing. Mostly dead. Yeah, mostly, mostly dead. So, um, and this was ended in a sour note. Ended in the bad guys win. This is the f- the only. That's one. a meta perspective. Okay, though. Though. Yeah, okay I like that. Look at what I'm wearing, Alex. Yeah. I like that. So I'm like, all right, fucking sweet. Well, I didn't think good that you would, is dumb. I yeah, I didn't think you would do that. So I like this one. Let's go find a word. Uh, I really didn't like this one as much as the oh. rest of them. Uh, I didn't like the animation. It wasn't for me. I wasn't fond of it. Right. Uh, the music was kind of a little bit too much. Mm. I d- oh, could, yeah. Mm-hmm. We probably needed subtitles yeah. for this one. Uh, the story mm, kind of fell flat. I'm going to give it. It was still it, some cool parts. I'm probably going to give this a six. Okay. All right, I liked it more than you did. Uh, yes, the the music was annoying and it was too loud and and kind of kind of bad. Um, but I like this kind of storytelling. I like that you know not everything is like oh the Jedi's end up winning or so, like this is kind of mm. went out of nowhere. I was not expecting this guy to like that didn't happen in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, it's like Some this Jedi's was kind of cool. Die. So I I really did enjoy it. So I'm gonna take away a point for like all the little things I didn't like, but it's gonna get a nine for me. Oh, cool. Um, I'm gonna go with a seven. Might have been because it gave me a headache and I couldn't <laughs> really get past that. And then the animation style less smooth. But I really liked all of the other elements that have yeah. to do with this, especially with the way that, look, it, not everything ends Disney. All right. You don't always have a happy ending here. And again, open ended. What is the princess going to do in your mind? You can be like, well, she gathers the rebellion and and at the climactic battle between this empire and her rebellion, she saves and he finally turns back to good or something they like that. They can change. It happened in an episode back before. Can change. He had a red they saber can. turn purple. Right. You know? Exactly. They could change. So. <laughs> very, very awesome. Disney. Well done. Must Star watch. Wars Visions. A happy surprise. Uh, a series that I did not expect to be as good as it is. Oh, 10 yeah. out of 10. I would like to see more of this stuff. Okay. Anything else? No. I mean, it's a huge wait. Uh, you know, I was so worried when they, they announced this. It was like, oh, no. There's just another opportunity for, like, to really Drag fuck it out. The, Like, to fuck it up. Yeah. Just oh, fuck just, it up. And, you know, like, Disney I Metal. I like how they released them all at once. Uh, I love that. I think that Disney, it looks like they gave the studios a lot, like, a ton of room to, to kind of innovate and do whatever the hell they want, probably with some guidelines. I just was really worried that Disney was going to be like, put Ray in there. And then uh, make <laughs> yeah. make this character the best for no reason. And Get three or four references, but they are they are references that make sure not to mention Ray. Yeah, there's the lightsaber. There's the f- uh, li- uh, hyperspace travel. There's the force healing, and then there was. That's it. Yeah. 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 Hopefully. Well, there's probably more. They're like, well, actually, look, we've only watched it <laughs> once. We just finished watching it. <laughs> yeah. <We don't... laughs> yeah. And I watched a lot of these with some English on this time. And I got to say, excellent voice acting on at least on these particular episodes. So I still think, the... yeah, yep. still prefer the Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Still prefer the Japanese. But I say solid voice acting here. All right. That's it from us. Uh, mm-hmm. Please click the links down below with our buddy Surfshark. It'll help you out and uh, protect your data at the same time. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.